Hi, everybody. Welcome back to New Bits for the Afterworld. I'm Rosebud Baker. Um, so happy to have you here. So happy to be doing this show. Um, I am, it's been really fun. We do this show. If you're not familiar with it, it's a bunch of comics doing new bits that we've been working on in quarantine um, or bits that we were working on before the quarantine started and running them by each other. It's kind of an insider's look into the joke writing process. Um, and I am so excited for my guests today. We do this show every Monday uh, on JFL's YouTube and Facebook page. And we do, um, they also do a show called Characters Welcome on Wednesdays, 5 p.m. PT, 8 p.m. Uh, EST. And on Fridays, they have the Sklar Teen Comedy Hour hosted by the Sklar Brothers. I did that show this past week. It's so much fun. I highly recommend you tune into both of those. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I've pretty much run you guys past this. Um, oh, if you get a chance, if you're enjoying the show, you can donate to the artists at tickly.co slash just for laughs. Suggested donation is $5. Um, you can give whatever you want. If you have a billion dollars, you could give that, you know? Um, if you wanna really thank the, the, the real healthcare heroes, uh, comedy shows on Zoom. Um, also, uh, <laughs> if you'd like, you can also donate to uh, the Canadian um, Emergency Relief for Canadian Comics uh, that is created by CASC to help raise money on GoFundMe for comedians who've lost work and income due to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, that's gofundme.com slash support dash Canadian dash comedians. Um, and trust me, they've all lost work. We've all lost work. Um, so we really appreciate you guys tuning in and supporting live comedy from your house. That means a lot to all of us. Um, and without a, uh, without further ado, I am so excited to introduce the comics for tonight. Um, my, my first comic is a good friend of mine. She's so funny, makes me laugh my tits off every time I see her on stage. Uh, she's got a great book called Fuck Your Diet. She's been on This Week at the Cellar. Please put your hands together in your living rooms for Chloe Hilliard, everybody. <laughs> hey, what's up? I was like <laughs> waiting for people to clap. <laughs> I know. I know. It's so funny because like, I always say put your hands together. And it's like, what difference does it make? Yeah, I, know, I don't right? know what I'm asking him to do. Um, I'm like, just put claps in the chat. That's one way you guys can uh, applaud is just... Put your fucking, you know, we got emojis. We can work with those. Um, we got people here um, tuning in from Canada, Fresno. Uh, I'm, I'm in the chat right now, just checking it out. Um, we have one woman who seems to be lost. She's just saying hello into the void. Um, so, uh, oh, South Africa. Um, this is great. So you guys, uh, Chloe Hilliard, I'm so excited. Sorry, my dog. Chloe, thanks for tuning in and thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. Have you been working on jokes? No. No. I'm not. <laughs> so you're going to be bringing bits from before. No, I, I wrote, I have one page. I started a whole new book. I was like, I'm going to start a new comedy book while I'm in quarantine. So I found yeah. a book that I haven't used and I've only oh. written on the first page. So this is all I got. Just, you can't even see it. Just one page. Okay. Of, all right. I, great. So you have been writing. That's mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's something. <laughs> <laughs> um okay oh we got people from upstate ny washington southern california this is great indiana people all over the country tuning in this is so exciting um you guys i'm gonna bring up our next comic uh one of my very best friends i am uh he's sort of like a twin for me i don't know just um vibe wise we're both very angry and we both don't like our dads so uh, you can check out his special on YouTube. It's called Life Begins. Uh, you can check out his podcast called Irish Goodbye. Put your hands together for Mike Cannon, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to clap there for myself. Is. What a professional introduction. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. I'm yeah. having full um, deja vu right now. It's really weird because... Mm. How the fuck could I have ever been here before? Well, you know? and also, can I say this? I find it to be incredibly brave of you to cut your own bangs and then wear it in front of a camera. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. I do have- I'm And with child strong, scissors, no less. Yeah, I'm giving off a strong, um, simple jack. Yeah. <laughs> 
right now. And it's, uh, a, little, it's, a, little, it's a little, it's a little Mia, Mia Farrow. The the bangs is a little Mia Farrow. Thank you. That thank you so much. Wasn't she murdered? No, I mean she was married to Woody Allen, so that is like a death. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, imagine yeah. that just absolute loose skin skeleton lurching on top just, of you in the night. It's honestly like the last scene. And then his own. wife. Yeah. <laughs> right. You put, Mia, like dude, Mia Farrow was like Mia Farrow was with Frank Sinatra, and then she went to Woody Allen. It's like, woo, sister. But at least she got a kid out of Frank. She did. Ronan yeah. is for sure Frank's kid. He's oh, she too her handsome. Kid. Um, no, sorry, that was uh, <laughs> that was too much. I'm just um, glad you did it first and not me. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> You guys, I'm going to bring up our next comic. You guys both love her. I love her so much. Uh, you can support her Patreon. Uh, it's Pino What You Did. I'm uncomfortable saying it. Um, it's P-I-N-O-T, as in the wine, What You Did. Uh, Patreon, Pino What You Did. And also, you can check out her podcast, Not Another True Crime Podcast. She's so funny. Please put your hands together for Casey Balsham, everybody. Hey. <laughs> You're just full bond pose. Wait, can I tell you that I had a prop? I was gonna do a full like um full house, like <gasps> and then I chickened out because I was like, these are my friends and they're gonna judge me. So yeah, I went absolutely. with this. we would have. We would have, but I wish you'd done yeah. it anyway. It would have been such uh, a fun thing to make fun of. I, God damn it. I just I, like I chickened out. Tell me that smile. You're Brendan Sagalow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, um, at this yeah, point, your quarantine, I think props are completely fair game. I think anybody I think so can too. come out of this yes. doing anything they want. I'm going to be a ukulele female comedian after this. Mm. <laughs> there are no rules. I think you'd find much success in that. I yeah. have much success. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> much success in that. Yeah, all of a sudden. I don't know how to talk anymore. Fortune, okay? You find much success with that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, you guys, uh, how many of you, I, I already talked to Chloe about this, but have you guys been writing in quarantine? How's the writing going? Yeah, but I need people. <laughs> okay, the because... silence, the, the pause really <laughs> yeah. was, well, I was a lot. I'm I'm trying to be as chivalrous as humanly possible and listening. I have my male listening ears on, so I'm giving a full full beat for each woman to answer before I jump in. That's great. <laughs> Good for you. Um, it, I it really is, love what mind. I love what wearing tie dye has done for you. I know, right? In his <laughs> mind, he's just like and massage a knee. Okay. No, <laughs> oh, I'm also on mushrooms. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not even. I'm like, what is this background, by the way, Canon? I need to know. It's a where Gustav you are. Klimt uh, painting, and frankly, I'm uh, embarrassed that you come from such rich family and don't understand fine art. Yeah, but this is obviously a print. It's not something that you no, own. No, no, this so... is not mine. It, it, it's a real, real piece of art in not my house. <laughs> okay. What house are you in? My in-laws. Okay, it literally looks like Liberace's home. That's why I was wondering. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm legitimately, dude, there's a six foot knight statue in that corner and uh -huh. I would turn the computer, but it might shut off because my equipment doesn't match the riches of this house. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I, I uh, see like a candelabra behind you. There's a little candle. Yeah. There's, there's that gold foil on the arc. <laughs> like, I'm more like well live. You just I'm need living to in a satin slipper right yeah. now. Yeah, you need to you need to quit comedy now because there's no there's no space for white men with privilege like yours after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're totally right. That's why he's transitioning. Um, I am. Yeah, I'm tucking it back and splitting it open, baby. We're. I love what you're doing. Yeah, you're you look like a true Instagram thought. Just uh, mm -hmm. shave the beard, get yourself a wig. You're on your way. You yeah. look like you're gonna have a fondue party after this. <laughs> I just may. It's gonna be chocolate and cheese. Of course it is. <laughs> Two dish fountains. Yeah, <laughs> um, 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 Rosebud, there's someone in the comments who's having That's a going fucking, fucking crazy. heart attack. Hi, Pro Reactor. How are you doing? I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, this is not even my show. I just want to acknowledge you because you're you're yeah. typing very ferociously. You guys right. don't care about your viewers. Yeah, oh, yeah he's you're having right. a really hard time. Yeah. Um, yeah. You got yeah. see that people don't understand that we are genuine friends in comedy and we have not seen each other. So we were just like talking like friends talk to each other, but I guess now we gotta go to work. Fine. And now he's all excited. Oh my god, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, Fucking it started nice. off as you guys are the best, and then it went it quickly went to I'm gonna leave. Yeah. And um yeah. it's a lot like my uh family dynamic. So uh anyway. You guys, oh my god! Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my uh, my two bits. I have two new bits. Um, I may just do one of them. I'm not really sure. But I was uh, 
so I found out this week that the hospitals are going broke. Um, mm -hmm. My sister is a nurse. She might lose her job. And um, so hospitals are going broke. Nurses are facing layoffs. I think we can stop with the pots and pans parade, folks. <laughs> I I think we're good. Um, I The thank you hour is starting to feel like a senator's tweet. What, like when a senator tweets thoughts and prayers, um, <laughs> it's it's like the sentiment is nice, but you're still dancing. Um, <laughs> we can see you on your roof dancing with your healthy family, and it does it, It's starting to feel a little empty inside, you know. Uh, so that is pretty much the <laughs> that's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, telling jokes to your friends. It was like watching. I know. I know. You know what it felt like it was like it was like watching a car accident when I'm in the car. That's yeah. what it yeah. felt I, like. I definitely, I definitely and accelerating. Felt you, I felt you pump <laughs> yeah. the brakes that didn't work. Mm. I felt like halfway yeah. through, I heard. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> but it did flush your cheeks with a nice, a nice pink hue. <laughs> thank you, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, Are Bobby you sweating? That for me. I feel, I feel sweaty for you. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's break it down. Let's, so there, those are two premises. Those are two. I just wanted to make sure those are two separate premises. Uh, yeah. So I think this. I think the whole like the sentiment's nice, but we. But you're still dancing. You're kind of still doing a regional production of Stomp. <laughs> like, like not yeah. even the touring one. Like yeah, just a regional yeah, yeah. one that was put up at like a community college. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, and it is just like an audible thoughts and prayers after a mass shooting. Like people are still dying and you're just out there slamming your pots together mm -hmm. and they're right. broke. Why don't you donate the pots? It's like we get on our roofs every night and we're like, this will yeah. fix it. And it's like, yeah. meanwhile, the nurses are wheezing down the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. Or you can so, you can use the pots and pans to let them know where their next free meal is going to be since they are about to be jobless. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Soup's That's on. Right. Yeah. Why don't we use those to feed the nurses when they lose their jobs? Yes. That's funny. <laughs> so it, the nurses should go from TikTok to Patreon is what For you're sure. To only yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got to yeah. add only fans in here. Yeah. yeah. Which kind of brings me to my next bit, which is that um, there was like this video that went viral of the nurses dancing to cheer up COVID patients. Um, and I feel like dancing, what was it? It was dancing for someone who can't breathe yes. is, is like walking a tightrope to cure MS. <laughs> mm. You just, you just, you just taunting me at this point. Yeah, yeah. You're just showing you're... me functional lungs. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I also, uh, I also, when you said that, I thought of a really, really uh, topical reference that reminded me of like Anna Nicole Smith. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's really <laughs> dancing that's for like an old. That's something that's yeah. She's she's been in the news um, ten years ago, but something about <laughs> like. An old like there was something in like dancing for an, like uh, somebody not breathing that made me think mm -hmm. of something like that. Yeah, and you yeah. know what? We haven't been telling enough jokes about her <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> we haven't. We need she's, to bring back. She's still Anna funny. Nicole. She's still funny. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she was a reality. She was a true reality yeah. star. They yeah. don't make them like that anymore. No, who's yeah. she was like, who's she was like, like the four million drunk blondes ago though. Yeah, she oh, was the, yeah. the current version of her. Mm. Uh, there's got to be one, right? Yeah. I feel I like mean, Rosebud, I know she's going to marry Andy, but I feel like that's not her last marriage. And her last yeah. marriage is going to be in about five years to a 90-year-old just absolute dying on the former, vine rich guy. Form, like former <laughs> talent agent, though. Yeah. You can talk oh, to yeah. her about the business <laughs> while she's she makes gonna, his Dude, it's going to be Joe Franklin. <laughs> I want to make it clear. If you are a millionaire and you're near death, my DMs are open. There you okay? go. Okay? Nice. I'm not married yet. You can yeah. just let me know what you got. Show me the paperwork. Draw up the account. Yeah. She'll, she'll play connect the liver spots. That's right. <laughs> and and not to mention, you don't, even have to, back. you don't even have to break up with your current relationship. I feel like he can understand a financial cuckold relationship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Andy's fine with it. I mean, he's like, can I get a nice car yeah. and a PS4? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, use the. I like the use the pots and pans to feed the nurses. I like the regional production of Stomp. Um, uh, what do you, you guys think the, uh, where it's at is already fine. Like with the, the 
I guess the MS walking a tightrope thing, is that fine? Or anybody else have any tags for that? I think that's fine. I mean, you yeah. could do that almost like a list bit. Like you could like yeah. continue to give examples and for failing mm -hmm. body parts, you know, yeah. a, a, a standing, <laughs> a standing room only for paralyzed people, you know, yeah. concert yeah. or whatever. Anything. I was also thinking, um, like for the, uh, for the Senator's tweet joke, I was thinking like, what if senators did what we're doing every time there was like a mass shooting? Like we would all be infuriated, right? Like I was just thinking like, what if that was instead of tweeting, they were like, I guess I'm wondering if I turn it around, is it funnier if I like flip them? I think you know? they more or less do do that though, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I also think of maybe an since it already you went like kind of like we're not doing anything i think you could flip it and be like i get that it's fun and kind of look turn it on like a positive side and see where you can take that mm -hmm. be like yeah it's fun we're doing this because we have i don't know like like i think you can tie in something else there that maybe would spin it up yeah as well oh see i was going the opposite i was going if you're yeah. still doing that at this point you're then just you're lonely Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah, you're just yeah, checking to see say. if anyone else is around. Um, well, and also you're, like, you're like a fame hungry senator because everybody who does it also posts a video of them doing it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's not it's not just for the you know philanthropy. It's also for you know I need to raise my profile on TikTok. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, okay, uh, thank you guys. That's helpful. I will. Um, probably give up on this about midweek and <laughs> forget about it for the rest of my life. Um, no, but that happens with so many premises though. That's what people think. They think just because you start something that you finish it and you don't, you abandon it no. and then it comes back to you seven years Five later. Five years later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And you're like, oh, yeah. that's the fucking punchline. Um, yeah. that, that's going to drive me insane. If I come up with a punchline for this seven years from now, when everyone's fucking, we've got a vaccine and everyone's like, we don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least it'll live forever on YouTube. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, um, what do you have? You got any new bits? Um, yeah, sure. Tons of them. So many, so <laughs> many new bits. Um, so I've been, I've been self isolating for 10 weeks in here in New York city. Um, I started like pretty early, not cause I wanted to, I was supposed to do something else and go on vacation, but it got canceled and then I just rolled into quarantine. So I've had a lot of time to sit at home with myself and my thoughts and who I am as a person and figure out my, my mission in life. And I'm also single, which gives me a lot of extra time. Um, mm -hmm. so I realized that like, if I, if a man accepts all my flaws, he's definitely batshit crazy. Like <laughs> we, we do this. Like I want somebody to accept me for, for who I am. It's like, no, 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 no. I need somebody to love me enough to want to fix me along the way. That's how I know it's real love. It's like <laughs> I've had, like I've had a man, like I have a dog and I had a man who, who liked my dog and he was okay with the dog being in a bed. Um, and I was like, okay, that's interesting. But I realized he didn't mind that because he had extra people living in his head. So it made perfect sense <laughs> for us to have an extra person in the bed. So like, so you I'm, had you had a guy who was um who was schizophrenic yeah. who was fine with your dog being in the bed and yeah. that's like you're that's, like this is good. I, I I was leery of it and then I was my my leeriness was proven right. So if someone <laughs> if, if I'm telling you if someone comes into your life and accepts you for everything that you are that person is fucking nuts. So that's my oh, okay 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 yeah that's fucking great. I think like. I would even start with saying that. I would start by saying, yeah. If you have someone in your life that accepts you as you are, mm -hmm. they're not good. Okay, they're not safe. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You need someone who's like a first responder mm -hmm. to your <laughs> <laughs> to your uh, insanity. Yeah, because we're all crazy, and I, as I get older, you know, you realize. I mean, you realize that a lot of times as we get older, we try to say that our flaws are, are what makes us unique. So like up until right. like up until like 35, it's like, I want to change this. And then after 35, you're like, God made me this way. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I made you a fucking bitch. Sure. Okay, good. <laughs> also, you, you ever feel like a flaw hack too? Yeah. Because sometimes my flaws are not original in the least. <laughs> and right, when, yeah. I, when I find one of my flaws that a lot of people share with me, I'm just like, well, I have nothing original to offer anybody, even in in bad yep. stuff yeah 
You're, you're like, like, wait, you hate your dad too? <laughs> yeah, I thought I was the only boy. <laughs> like, I'm just late all the time. You're like, actually, that's really hurt me in a lot of parts of my life. Missed <laughs> <laughs> yeah. out on a lot of jobs. It's not like a who I am. Work. That's uh, <laughs> yeah. everyone hates you. Yeah, yeah that, that'd be fun to like tear apart and just be like all these things that you think are cute, and then you get to them when you're older, and you're like, oh wow, I like in making the comparison. You're like, like, oh, what, that's it, why what, I'm on unemployment. Yeah what it actually yeah. makes you now. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. also fun to, you know, think they're your flaws. And then once you get older, you medically classify them all as real illness. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So your, your flaw is just actual bad biological wiring. Yeah. yeah. And I'm thinking just being like, if somebody really loved me for the fact that like, I do this and I do this and I'm always like, and that like, I would absolutely yeah, think that they were needed professional help or yeah, something they, like they're going to kill me lifting. for insurance money like they're right. going to let me just post <laughs> yeah. until they kill me yes yeah yeah, yeah. or like great. listing all your flaws yeah, and you realize you're the person that would kill them or something like yeah fun like that but once Absolutely. you list them all and hear it you're like <laughs> something not... fun like that <laughs> <laughs> something fun like murder something fun like, murder. <laughs> something fun like me <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys, I want to take a death. second to announce to the audience that this is um, this is just for laughs. Uh, new bits for the afterworld. Comics working on new bits, kind of getting a, a glimpse into the writing process of comics. Um, we're working on bits that we've been doing in quarantine uh, alone in our house. So this is giving us a chance to bounce ideas off of other comics. Um, and you can tune into this every Monday in May from it's 5 p.m. PT, 8 p.m. EST. Uh, you can also tune into, sorry, I have to do this, you guys. It's uh, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Um, Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, Characters Welcome. And on Friday, you can do the Sklar Team Comedy Hour hosted by the Sklar Brothers, uh, also on Just for Laughs Facebook and YouTube. Um, donate to the artist at tickly.co slash just for laughs. Suggested donations five bucks, but you can give whatever you want. Um, okay. So, uh, Chloe, do you have a second bit that you want to do? Yeah, write? really quickly. I, I've been thinking a lot about being in a house and everything that we have to deal with because of coronavirus. And I'm realizing now at this age that uh, glory holes aren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> A responsible They're, glory hole could be fun now and again. Listen, I'm telling you, I, I think about this. I think about this as a single person. How are you going to protect yourself out there in the world when you want to start having sexual intercourse again? And the glory hole with a hazmat suit for the rest of your body that's not exposed might be the way to go. And your cock better ma wear a mask. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I love yeah. that. Your um, cock better have antibodies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it needs its COVID test attached yeah, to your it helmet for me. Yeah, exactly. To your dick needs to get an antibody test before. Yeah. 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 That's the craziest part about all of this is it's like I'm seeing people shaming others for not wearing a mask when I'm like, I know I'm you have herpes. Like I'm like <laughs> I'm like, you have herpes yeah. and you're this, out here telling yeah. people to put their mouth. That's Condom the funniest on. thing. It's like, oh, now, oh, now you want to be tested for something. Now I right. care about <laughs> yeah. getting a test. Wait, Sips does, it, does me having, is not a problem, but does me having HPV mean I have a compromised immune system? Mm. Yeah, that does count. That does yeah. count. All right. mm -hmm. Sweet. I uh, have a bunch of viruses. <laughs> Um, I was somebody... just thinking about how isn't the uh, like the test for for COVID is like taking that big Q-tip and sticking up your ass. Isn't it the same way that they test men's dicks Eureka. for? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a so, face STD so, test. So it's all the same, right? I mean, in a way, I think <laughs> most of the women that I know have gotten a COVID test, and most of the men that I know haven't. And I feel like that's just because women want to be want something inserted into them at this point. They're but just please. like, they're just make like, me, put a rod in me. Yeah. Somewhere. Make me feel something, daddy. Make me feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go deep. Unlike this failure. Yeah. <laughs> people, people are asking for the test to be more invasive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we wanted to go through our heads down and yeah. uh, have a full body. Yeah. Um, if you could just knock me out and touch me a bit, that would be fun. The bottom up. You know what I mean? Go reach <laughs> through the bottom. Um, oh, I'd, I'd take a COVID test through the butt. I'm sure you would. Yeah, yeah we know. Would. In we that know. sweatshirt? Yeah. We, we figured. 
we knew. <laughs> I am bottomless. So <laughs> I have not seen you out of that sweatshirt. Cannon, you're next, by the way. Um, oh. If you have new bits. Uh, Chloe, are you have? I'm done. You're done? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Those are great. Um, yeah. Cannon, do you have any new bits? I do. Yeah, I have. Uh, I have one about arguments because I don't know about you guys, but I have. Uh, I live in close proximity with my wife now, also staying at my mother-in-law's home. So, it's, we're like trying to find some pretty creative ways to argue through our teeth at each other. <laughs> uh, <you> know, <laughs> not trying to expose the baby to any of our anger, and not trying to let her parents know that we're in trouble. So, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm I'm a nightmare to argue with in a relationship because you know i speak for a living and my wife is italian so she's half a primate so i'll say things and her brain can't process she'll just be like me no understand me smash and she just immediately reacts with anger and yeah. italians are the missing link right like it goes monkeys monkeys with sauce italians and then regular human beings that's how <laughs> the evolution chart went and then she gets <laughs> <laughs> this is just me trashing my wife. She gets frustrated yeah. by me because I'm a relentless asshole. Like when I get going, it's hard to slow down the train. So in the middle of fights, my wife, Nicole, will just be like, stop doing stand up at me. Oh, in my God. Me. That's All brutal. The time in fights because I'll just get going and lathered and pick up pace and There's just keep going to a big crescendo that's... like Hitler used to do. <laughs> <laughs> There's something there, though canon about mm -hmm. how if she says stop doing stand up at me yeah there's something there about that being like a fucking bullet wound and right. her being italian and like a, there's like an easy you know what i mean oh yeah well it's the new nuclear code so on my last hour i had a bit where i talked about like relationship nuclear codes where you say the one thing that you know that will just decimate the your partner's day and yeah. it used to be that she was like wow you're being a lot like your dad but she mm -hmm. overused that so i no longer feel it anymore so <laughs> right. now she's moved on to what are you doing stand up at me <laughs> <laughs> that's so brutal Fuck. yeah yeah, That's but great. also she's an equal opportunist nightmare because especially, so we have a 10 month old baby and I'm just glad that she's not pregnant in quarantine because I don't know if I could if I could just be the retainer for her fucking psychosis during quarantine. Yeah. And I remember when we were fighting, she was like three months pregnant. She threatened an abortion <laughs> <laughs> at me. She was like, I'll fucking get rid of this baby. I'll abort it. And I looked at her and I go, your body, your choice. The blood will <laughs> be on your hands, lady. <laughs> oh my God. So you guys are trying to you guys are trying, you guys are fighting like this in your parents' house? No, no, this was months ago, but this is now, <laughs> now it's, now it's just through our teeth. This is the way that you fight. That's yeah, yeah, this is, this is how we get along. In mm -hmm. the middle of quarantine. Yeah, so, 25 years we've been doing this. So there's something about that, like, <laughs> that's like, you know how parents used to like try to hide their fights from us? Yes. There's something about quarantine making, and this is just another because everything that I thought, it's all great, but I think you could also expand it to just do like, um, how like your parents used to hide fights from you and now you gotta hide your fights from your parents. Right, um, <laughs> that's funny. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, like your parents are coming to you like, are you guys gonna break up? <laughs> Especially now that you have a, have they've got a grandson, you know? Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very uncomfortable too. So, yeah. you know, because I'm not right ever because I'm in her home. Yeah, so I'm right. currently I'm like 100 percent behind enemy lines, taking shells from behind, you know. So I want to yeah. know, how did you decide to go to your in-laws house? Because it, it, I mean, because also if they're the Italian family, did you go there thinking like, well, if we argue, we just kind of blend in with them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We blend in with the paintings on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we should um, if we. Like if we go into this, or if you go into this about like how your parents are like, I don't know if you choose to do this, but um, there's just like something about like a home game and like a like an away game kind of a thing. Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah, hacky. Yeah. No, that's that, funny. I, like I don't that know what's hacky anymore. For what is not. comedy, uh, yeah. man? I I think nothing is comedy anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, you know it's whatever you want to be. I, I'm wondering off also if there's something funny in just acknowledging that you are doing stand up and just yeah. being like, did it work? 
And I just yeah, put yeah, him yeah. up Thing, against my know, mic stand while someone fighting Someone stop doing stand up at me. You're like, all right, that's enough for me. Thanks, folks. Like, I don't, <laughs> that's I don't, my time, everybody. Pay your if check. there's something, yeah, yeah really or dumb you can and tell being her not like, to interrupt your set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I could get you kicked out for that type of nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering if, if there's something into like leaning into that aspect of it that could be really also like silly about it. I like yeah. that. That's fun. Oh yeah, if, if you start talking to like a fake audience, we're like, look at this lady in the front. <laughs> who who <laughs> am I in here? Like, Classic yeah, white this. lady. Yeah. Just what is your name? Can't believe yeah. the show's not about her. Has yeah. What is your name? <laughs> wife. Wife. Yeah. What kind of name? Our, is wife. I remember yeah. the first time I had beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just that's something great. Like so stupid. Yeah. That's awesome. You should actually try that in a real fight. That's actually a pretty genius. I'm going, I'm, no, I, I, this isn't a joke. I'm just finding out tactics from three women. So I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah Robbie and I. Out. Robbie and yeah. I got in a fight the other night and I was wearing my fake body shirt, like one of those shirts that has like the fake body on it. So he just like, like we're just fighting and he's, I'm just like screaming at him, but he's like, I mean, you're wearing an American flag bikini and fake, like, like it just like, and then it diffuses things. Cause he's like, I mean, is this what we're having the argument in? Oh my God. That would have made me so much more mad though. That's the worst part I, about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Nicole did up. give me a good term though. She's like, she's like, you haven't worn hard pants in seventy days. Hard pants, hard and pants. Like, that's yeah. something that's happening. Yeah, yep. that's yeah. great. That's <laughs> great. I also haven't seen you outside of this sweatshirt, so it's that's that could be part of the reason why you're losing. Yeah, so. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I uh, just moved, but I think I uh, just like this look, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, you've been you you were full blonde. You went <laughs> bleach blonde. Yeah. Do you have a joke about that? No, no, but uh, I, I mean, I might. I'm gonna go back, so I'm gonna once my hair grows out again, I'm gonna bleach it and then go perp. Mm. You're gonna go purple. Yeah, he's becoming know, the sweatshirt. He's becoming the sweatshirt. You, yeah, because yeah. like, do you realize like you have a ten month old son and like he's gonna look back at the year 2020 and be like, what the fuck was happening with my dad? Yeah, he's yeah. gonna know his dad went through a tough time where his dream disintegrated because of a virus. Yeah, <laughs> that, but that's that's the that's the funny part is like we you can't lie like how our parents lied about how hard shit was because all of our stuff is on social media. Yeah. So when you try to scold your son about like you don't know what I had to go through and you were like, eh, you. You were in a fucking fancy Actually, house. I can see exactly what you went through. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, it's all <laughs> it's all recorded. The Is worst part about it was you going blonde. There, there's <laughs> yeah. a picture of me holding my son the other day, and I was dressed like Ace Ventura when he was like trying to get into the psych ward. <laughs> Like I was basically Jesus wearing Christ. a ballerina tutu, a, a fucking out of control button up shirt. I had, you know, yeah. two different shoes on. I yeah, this kid is not going to know who I am. Yeah, oh. yeah, which is <laughs> you'll have that in common with him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Casey, do you have any new bits that you want to run, or do you have? Uh, oh yeah. Or, Cannon, did you do I, two? Did I, Cannon did one, I did oh, one, okay. but I'm longed. Um. <laughs> oh shit! Then let's do another one. Um. Really quickly, can I make an announcement? Uh, you can announce. Okay, folks, if you are tuned in, you can um, you can give the comic, you can make donations to the comics at tickly.co slash just for laughs. The suggested donation is $5. Um, tickly.co slash just for laughs. You, if, you, if you feel like being generous. Um, yeah, to, uh, please, please donate to the three lesbians and their black friend. That's how someone yeah, I mean, described it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, get the guy out of here. Yeah, that oh, guy live, has been live really YouTube hurt for comments attention. are pretty fucking <laughs> brutal. I actually don't pay attention to the comment comments just because there's the, most of the time the people who are commenting are like Russian. I feel like they're like <laughs> Russian bots. Yeah. So I'm just like, I don't trust you or your country they're really, um, yeah. they're really rushing their way through these insults yeah <laughs> hey, but hey, oh. you hey, just made them right. that's my time everybody <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap on my you know, so, all right I, I i hear what you're saying but a part of it is like this is the new interaction this is yeah. what people yeah. come like there are people who are definitely trolls and there's people who are coming because this is the only time they get to engage with someone like us so yeah, God, it's like a it's like a split. It's like a little 50 fifties. I see yeah. everything. I see everything. I, I guys, just, I, I, there's a guy. I'm not watching like, it anymore. Guy in a Make America Great Again hat, and that I'm like is a Russian bot. I don't. Sure. I'm like that's like not a real thing. Um, <laughs> I uh, don't know. 
but he's here every week and he's always like saying some like racist or sexist shit. So I'm just like, he's, he doesn't exist. Um, anyway, I, uh, everybody who, everybody else who's like in the comments for the most part is pretty fucking supportive and I love them, but that guy can suck my dick. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, can I, this is a ve- this is a very loose premise, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need help. I just like the uh, oh, he was blocked. Oh, nice! I just like the idea, right? So this is about lying, and uh, I ba- it's basically just starting with I'm just living my truth, and then I admit so much of my truth is a flat out lie. Like it 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 has to be so I can survive. My <laughs> self esteem and mental health can't sustain itself on truth. I have to bend reality just so I won't hurt myself. That's what my truth is. And ever since people started saying live your truth and accepting that as reality, we've all agreed that there are no more hard facts. Your truth is an editorialized lie. Your perspective is skewed and naturally biased. I have nothing really funny to that. I just thought of that (laughs) as an idea. I think saying my truth is a lie is really funny. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think also setting it up against the actual truth where you're like, Mm. here's the real truth. Here's yeah. what's actually happening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you just you can make a list of all the things in your life that that are you know the facts that would make yeah. anyone want to just like put a gun in their mouth. Right. <laughs> and like then, I did it. Like I did a special on YouTube is the fact, and then I got a special out. Everybody. Yeah. The, like <laughs> they, the truth. Like the truth is like yeah. you got to say like the truth is blah blah blah. My yeah. truth is, <laughs> and it's like whatever the embellishment is. You got them right, which is yeah. everything. And as long yeah. as you say truth in it, it's true. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> if the truth is subjective, Those are rules. Yeah, then here's the subject I want to focus on. Yeah, I'm just I'm just telling my truth how I see it and how I experience it. Doesn't naturally yeah. line up with the facts, but it's how <laughs> I have filtered the information so as not to kill myself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you got I think you got. Yeah. yeah, I think you got to list all the things. Here's the truth. Here's my truth. And then you go into, and all of that is a lie. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Where you yeah. go, you can kind of like set it up that way. It'll be a long fucking setup, but if you can, right. if you can keep it short, mm-hmm. uh, as short as possible, or you can make it super long if the payoff's really fucking, you know. Yeah, you're talking to the king of long setups. Yeah. <laughs> No, I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm like sitting here enamored by the fact that you write out everything like to the word, and I just have like. I, but I usually oh, glory don't hold. do that. That's the thing is I <laughs> never do that, but quarantine has forced me to do that. Like yeah. I usually just write, a, you know, a brief synopsis of what I want to write down. Mm-hmm. Like I would have just written my truth is a lie, and then walked on stage and try to work it out in front of people, and my panic and fear would add that like would make funny happen or yeah. not. But that's that's more or less how I write. Now I'm trying to write out longhand, and as you can see, I'm failing. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, but almost even the reveal. I think like was like the reveal of the lie would be really. I think would be funny at the end after you talk about truth and blah blah blah, and this is all about mm. me. And at the end, being like, yeah, but that, you know, ultimately that's all a lie because I don't even have a kid. <laughs> yeah, so just something in that. Yeah, that is a really funny concept, though. My yeah. my fundamental truth is a lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The things I, I know to be that. true. Also, yeah. if you can remember, like the moment when the truth became a lie, like when you started saying, "I need to make myself f- feel better," and start right. like altering these facts. Do you want to know when that happened, Chloe? When yes. I looked briefly to the right and read the comments. <laughs> 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 that's when i was like well no longer looking at reality i'm gonna shape the... what in front of me. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm gonna yeah. live their truth and mm-hmm. suck it yeah <laughs> i love it you guys um uh for the audience members tuning in if you've just come into the room you can donate to these comics at tickly.co slash um what is it I forget. Just oh, just for laughs. laughs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> On the board. <laughs> I'm a fucking pro. Um, you can donate to the comic tickly.co slash just for laughs, five dollar donation. Um, and if you're just tuning in, we are running new bits for each other. This is new bits for the afterworld. We none of us have left our houses. We're trying out uh new jokes on each other. So if you're into it, this is kind of an inside look into the writing process. Um Casey Balsham, 
Hey. Hey. Uh, sorry, just writing down a little something. Um, okay, so uh, I have this bit that uh, I've been working on about TikTok because I'm having <laughs> a hard time accepting it. Um, as a reality. And uh, I also, I just, I don't like the confidence it's teaching kids. You know, like, I I don't think that there's anything worse than a confident kid. Um, <laughs> I, like, I don't, I don't think you should be teaching kids that it's okay to dance in public. Do you know, like, I didn't <laughs> dance in public till I was 31. It's, you know, you just, you shouldn't be, you can't move your hips if you've never been to Brazil. You know, it's just, it's, the, the confident kids is the worst. Like, have you met a confident kid, right? They're the ones that like run up to you at parties and they're like, oh, I know all 50 states. You want to hear me sing? And it's like, do I look like Ellen? I don't care. You know, like, <laughs> like, like I also know all the words to Moana. What are we doing? Um, mm. I think, great. and then I want to add on to this, but, I'm like, but the only tag I have now is confident kids become grownups who litter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, ah. that's all I have. And it makes sense in my head, but I oh, feel I like I can, I can, I can add more to what confident kids become or how annoying they are. So that's what I, that's the first part that I'm working on. Um, you know what? I always think of like, uh, whenever I go on TikTok, I look at like the kids dancing with their dads. Yeah, And my first thought is like, if I ever asked my dad to dance in a video with me, yeah, I mean, he would react like, I couldn't even talk to my fake dad in a therapy session about my feelings. <laughs> How the fuck <laughs> would I ever ask him to dance with me on TikTok? You know mm. what I mean? I'll be yeah. like, so dad, okay, so you're a savage. <laughs> Pushy, classy, <laughs> ratchet, <laughs> acting stupid. What's happening? <laughs> like, just, like, how do you even explain? Okay, that's that's silly. a twenty-two. Pew, yeah. Pew. yeah. On on top of that, it's like <laughs> dressed like canon too. They're all yeah. dads. <laughs> <laughs> also, Honestly, you I think wish about I it. Oh, go ahead, Chloe. No, sorry. also you think about it like it's a different time now. So if this was happening when we were kids, they would be like, get out of my face. But now these these dads are like, this might be my meal ticket, like one little booty shake and I can retire. So yeah, yeah. it's like a, it's like an opportunity, a financial opportunity. Yeah, it's a job. Yeah, it's a job. these these dads are trying to pimp their kids out. Yeah, mm. that's. that's it re it truly is, isn't it? It's like well, we're getting a live like look at who would let their child meet R. Kelly backstage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, now we get what type of person does that. Fuck, like, that's good. You yeah. write that down. That's funny. Fuck. Because yeah, it's also like, was there this many crop tops when we were growing up? Like, I don't <laughs> remember ever. I feel like I always wore a full shirt. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like Never. I don't ever remember just walking around like East Easter Sunday with a crop, you know? Also, no, like, I mean full I, makeup, full makeup, Kardashian just, level makeup. Just full blown. Just yeah. 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 a lot of contour. Even even the even the TikToks where they're like talking crazy to their parents for like the joke. Like my parents would be like, no, that's not funny. We're not. No. Yeah, there'd no. be a much more abusive TikTok if it was around while I was a kid. If I squeezed water in my dad's face, the end would have been his fist hitting my yeah. phone camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, you would have seen. Yeah, the phone would have turned off right after. Yeah. Um, what I don't like is that I don't think even our our economy can support this many entrepreneurs because that's exactly <laughs> what all of these kids are going to become. Like each one right. of these kids is going to have a tea company. Or something, they're, you know? Yeah, they're gonna be like, "Oh, yeah. I make my own candles." Or... I just—that's what I—that's what I don't. This is why I, I don't want them to grow up. I, I like this is like, do we do we kill them at their peak? Like that's what I'm saying. Like they they shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> like kids with this much confidence to like do this stuff. Yeah, they're gonna be mm. the grossest adults you, in you, society. What if you give them ultimatum? It's like you can have this fame as a teenager, but once you turn twenty one. All of your evidence of being famous is gone. Yeah, yeah. you should, have, you to, you should have to be an accountant, is what yeah. I, like <laughs> you can have a million TikTok subscribers if on your 30th birthday you become an accountant. Yeah. There's it's something. almost like Israel and forcing them to serve in the military. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Like that's you you have to come down and just at least, you know, get a get a reasonable service. 
Yeah. Right. There's, right. There's something I want to say something like give a kid a TikTok. Like remember, give a mouse a cookie. I gotta yeah. figure out. Give I gotta figure out. <laughs> give a kid a TikTok. I gotta figure out what else they gave that mouse, and then I'm gonna take it away from that kid. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love it. Give. Well, it right also here. sounds like Casey, you're pro teachers having guns because you're like, I don't want these kids to grow up. <laughs> yeah, I just hear because here's There's the thing. There's definitely I, um, there, you <laughs> could you could, I mean, it's fucking risky, but that's definitely like there's teachers. definitely like you could kind of pull off a joke like that, Casey, because you do everything like you're like hosting a birthday party for kids, you know, <laughs> like you kind of, of have this like energy, yeah birthday party host energy so it's like I, it's like i kind of support teachers having guns you want a cupcake like that <laughs> yeah yeah well, well face painted okay yeah i think i could yeah it could go a little darker because yeah i think i just don't like what it, i just don't like what it's teaching them i you know, I just, I just, I, don't just, like I, I also, I just think that everybody should be 30. You know, everybody should be mm. in their thirties. There should be nobody younger. Also, but also it's, <laughs> it's like, how do you compete? Like as an adult, how do you compete? How do you hold up your life's accomplishments to a kid who's gotten 1.2 million likes on TikTok? Right. Like this, where well, do I, what's life? What is life about? Also, <laughs> if your dad is dancing with you on TikTok, why do you need a million likes? That's the whole reason I'm you trying have to get a million likes. That's really funny. So it's, I it's, I was I was kind of touching on something similar where it's like I leave the house where I have unconditional love from my son and my wife and I go to a bar to perform for strangers who don't know me and likely don't like me. So I'm leaving <laughs> I'm leaving unconditional love in support or yeah. in pursuit of love. <laughs> You're like un yes. unpack that. Yeah. yeah in therapy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You and also, need... how, did, how is a man going to measure up to a uh, to a dad who's been performing in TikToks? It's right. Like, what, yeah. what line of questioning do you ask? Like, yeah, yeah. No, I I love I love that. Just being like, if your dad loves you, why do you need it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you? Yeah, and what kind of man? Yeah, there's never. Mm -hmm. How never is your man. dad? How is your dad's love? Uh, why would you ever need to even be on? I don't even, I wouldn't even need to be on social media if my dad would watch one of my comedy sets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, my, yeah, dad, uh, my dad guys, came to my special members, and I almost kicked are, him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's, you're also, you're going through it. People, you're yeah, wearing people... tie dye, you're dyeing your hair blonde. Yeah, this you're... is a classic. It's like social media is for hurt people. Like, yeah. get your love and happiness the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Um, you guys, if you're just tuning in, this is uh, this is New Bits for the Afterworld. Um, we are here every Monday in May, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, we are all basically working on new bits, running them by each other. This is kind of how, this is an inside look on into how uh, jokes get made. And um, if you want, you can donate to the comics at tickly.co slash just for laughs. It's a $5 suggested donation. Um, okay, second bit. Casey, are you happy with that? Um, no, I think that I, I've got a lot to work with there. And then it's just, it's really fun because my second bit is about trying to have a kid. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, and th this is truly like not have even a 30, baby. A 30, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to just pop out uh, an adult that's well adjusted. Um, <laughs> and this is truly like, this is just ideas that I thought like, because I really have not been, I haven't been writing like a ton. I just feel like I've, I've had a couple things and I'm like, eh, you know, so you know, we have to, we're, we're having to do, um, the IVF. So it's like, we're kind of, we have to like, it's just, there's something that I want to make funny about having to buy a baby, but with IVF, it definitely, it makes you the best one of your things. <laughs> so it's about something about having to buy a baby that, you know, is definitely going to go to college and how like <laughs> something about the money, like there's something. And then I have adopt, don't shop. There's something, but I don't know how to put it how to put it together, but there's something about well, like, I, I don't understand what IVF really is. Like what, how, how does it make you the best? Well, what it's also, that? so you're, you're they, not really growing a, you're not buying a baby. You're almost buying a garden. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I mean, you're, you're buying you're, soil and yeah. seeds <laughs> and you're waiting for that. And you're waiting for that harvest. Just hoping right. and praying that everything yeah. comes out on the other end. Right. 
So IVF is when they essentially, they take your eggs out of you and they take the sperm out of the men and then they take the best one of both of those. Like they take all the good ones and then they make the best one that they can make with the two best qualities. And then they make a couple of the best pairs. So mm -hmm. the first one that you make, if you are able to hold it, that's like your smartest, best baby. Like I have a friend. But what if you do that? Okay. Two, so I, yeah. what, if the bit, what if the bit goes, so what if they get your two best ones and, and the like, kids community school <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, yeah like that where, like, you're looking at your kid and it's like if that kid is a disappointment on any fucking level you're just like that's my best shit that's my yeah, oh that's true that's, that's my when best that's when you can have like an 18 year abortion yeah, yeah, that's my best kid, and he's left-handed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or you like, know, you know the exact price because you know how parents like to throw out a number. Like I've spent such and such and such, and you'd be like, "That doesn't yes. sound right." But when you have IVF, you know exactly like how many cycles, how many, how many pin <laughs> needle pricks, how many vials. The of exact, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were. Yeah, there was also something that, I, that again, like I think the first thought that I had was pretty hack. That's like the, the baby's gonna come out. I'm gonna have like, a, like a hammer in in the waiting room or like the delivery room. And be like, you know how much you cost? Like, fix something, get to work, <laughs> yeah. or like oh, something me, stupid. Like, get to work. Be a like, go. Star. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like that that kid is gonna have more pressure put on him than any kid that's ever like been like a senator's son mm. because. Oh, yeah. It's like you looking it's at not that to kid. live up to his parents. It's to live up to how much they paid for him. Yeah. yeah. That's the, wow. That's the it's earliest not... in debt a, a person could be. Yeah. He comes, he pops out of the womb with debt. Yeah. He comes out yeah. as a deficit. It's just, it's just how much I paid. That's really funny. It's just how much I paid for you that I really want to get my money. Yeah. And you want, yeah. and, and you give them job, job examples that could never work, but you just know they have like a big money return. Like, listen, you better play basketball or rap or dance on TikTok <laughs> or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Question. Oh yeah, that would be sold, that'd be funny to tie TikTok back, back yeah. into yeah. that. Yeah. If you sold the white baby, would you make a profit? <laughs> like Nobody, if you, that's if, the best white baby I could yeah, make. Yeah, if you could grow your best white baby <laughs> and then yeah. sell it. Yeah. And then buy two I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, mediocre make, like make my best baby and then sell it to get yeah. two that are like okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 they pick their nose with their thumb if you know yeah. what i'm saying like you got rid of your ivy league baby and now you have two set of twins who want white dreadlocks and you're just like <laughs> Fuck. yeah to myself and you're like what, um, did I spend? what did i it's a bad investment at this point that's great i mean aren't all I love kids it. <laughs> I mean, I think eventually, yes. Yeah, they're bad investments. Okay, Casey, so. you're coming in here with like full blown. Um, bit. I love that. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that was you're great. No, the, 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 the TikTok me? one I'd been kind of working on, but the IV, yeah, I can still hear you. The IVF oh, cool. one I literally just kind of was like thinking about today. Like I knew that there was something with money to buy it and money for college, but like that was like so helpful because I didn't know how to connect. Mm -hmm. in the yeah. in I didn't know how to connect the ideas so that was really helpful guys thank you yeah absolutely um, folks, if you have been uh, tuning in for the whole show thank you for sticking around uh, this has been new bits for the afterworld we're here every Monday in May so there's one more show uh, next week uh, 5 p.m. Uh, PST, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And then on Wednesdays, we have Characters Welcome. That's also on Just for Left's Facebook and YouTube pages. And uh, on Fridays, we have the Sklar Teen Comedy Hour hosted by the Sklar Brothers. It's a great show as well. Um, and if you'd like to, you can donate to the artists. It's tickly.co slash just for laughs. Suggested donation is $5. You can give whatever you want. Um, and even if you aren't able to, thank you for tuning in. This has been so much fun. You guys, thank you for joining me. Um, I really, me. yeah, Thanks. this was fun. I hope you guys all got stuff out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It was helpful. Thank you. Good. Good. All right. Um, thanks again, everybody for tuning in. We'll, uh, see you next week. New bits for the afterworld signing off. Bye. Bye. Nice to see you guys. You too. Nice to see you guys too. Bye.